Another instant flash. Okay. I <laughs> got the invisible kill there. Hello everyone, my name is Dumat and today we're going to do a Tlia mid guide in flex because I really want to try the Ludon Sin to proto build build. Obviously we're not going to do it in solo queue because there I'm playing mainly with GLP for the experience that I'm having with it because I really like it. But I really want to try so we're going for Ludens, then Boots, then uh, we're going for proto belt right freaking here into orb into rubdon something like that also we're playing with electrocute taste of blood eyeball collection ravenous hunter presence of mind cup the grace and these rune stats we're against the galio and the silas in jungle i always think that i'm against both of them because you will pretty much surely gang mid mid is the uh, lane which you can gank from most paths so you have to be aware that you're going to get ganked especially if the enemy mid laner has cc so we're going to do so i didn't post much uh, games from ranked solo queue because i haven't played ranked solo queue in a while haven't had time to play league that much and i would play i really would but without some practice i don't like to jump straight into it because well if you don't practice beforehand you will just lose the games and gonna int so I'm just gonna get this minion, and this guy uh, is a bit of an inter. Okay, that was a trade right there. That was a freaking trade. Okay. Oh, come on! Why did I cancel that? Alright, so we got him down to some HP. And we need our Q to push him further. Okay, he is around here. I missed that CS as well. Man, I'm bad. See what I talked about practice. So I'm just gonna auto attack once, gonna drag the minions here. Don't care that the tower hits them really. Okay, just gonna lose that. Oh, now we're fine. Same CS, but he will have advantage because I have one more down there. Alright, we have a first blood on bot lane. Uh, I don't have my W yet, but sure, why not? That's fine, I'll take it. Let him lose some CS, don't rush it. But yeah, Galio is uh, a big offender of the shove, push, shove, wrong bots thingy meta. And I see people on Reddit complaining about the fact that uh, that Tilia used to do this and now she can't. But there are still champions like Twisted Fate, Galio, Talon that can do this. So uh, yeah, I kind of understand the frustration of other people because it's not normal for him to be able to do so and once he gets an item he will be able to do that much more efficiently than me okay uh, all right I'm not seeing Silas but I do have my W and flash so if we flash it properly we will going to be fine I'm gonna cast any okay ah, I'm out man Good freaking luck I'm out. So we got his uh, teleport, we got the kill, he's down, I have flash, I think Atrox should win here honestly, if uh, Kled doesn't climb back up, most, he most likely will climb, okay, uh, you're seeing this right guys, what did I just buy, okay, so we go for two potions, I would go for a vision ward as well but this early I'm not sure I kinda need it, it would be a good option to put it here, but I'm losing no, it's just I need to go back to me. It would be a good option. Uh, but then again, I really want to keep uh, fighting him, keep doing what I do. And I want to get that cannon. I don't think I will get him. No, not in range. Not even this minion, man. Alright, just gonna cast it. They are gonna start to push. And then we're going to start to move towards Lost Chapter. Uh, okay. Galio, you can, you can flash. He has no way to escape. <laughs> he killed, almost killed himself with that. I will lose that CS. And now we're going to push. Uh, Rek'Sai just spoils me, apparently. So I have an easy time on the mid lane, but normally against Galio you wouldn't risk dying unless he actually uh, is ganked by their jungler and predicts his CC accordingly. So just gonna do this, push, 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 select Ludens here. I'm gonna put the word somewhere on this side, so we will see when Silas comes. I think he might be even AFK. I hope he's not. 
but he's not because of that rights being done there. Okay, I think he's top now. That's a prediction. Because Kled is way too aggressive, but maybe he's maybe he's mid. Okay, I'm gonna back off a bit just to be sure that I'm not gonna get bolted by the Galio combo. Although, where is he? Where is he? It's scaring me. I don't like this. It's either AFK or farming perfectly, and someone took that also. Okay, so I'm gonna get the cannon. Didn't miss it, guys. You gotta respect that because I generally miss it. I'm gonna farm here under tower a bit. I'm gonna try to. Missing that, I don't have small Q either, but this I'm not gonna miss. Auto attack, small Q, and okay. I'm cast an E, and because the minions aren't into the tower, I have the safety of staying like this. Okay, I'm gonna put a word there. And that word helps us to notice roaming from the opponent. Okay, we see Silas on top, We're thinking of going there. Oh boy, run. Get out. Auto attack maybe? Auto attack? Auto attack? Okay. So we got him one for one, it's okay. And uh, we couldn't do Drake. I think their both lane stopped them. I wanted to stop the side. That was a free Drake, but my decision of going and helping Atrox uh, wasn't maybe that good. That would have been a free Drake-ish. I would say ish because it would have been a 4 versus 3 and my Caitlyn is low HP and that would have costed us. I'm not sure it would have been that free, to be honest. With the Galio power and his presence on the map, it's not that simple. Okay, so we have Tome. Uh, okay. Is a good idea. We have Tom, we have uh, everything that we need to uh, have more mana than usual and to be ready for the fight. And we always have to get Lost Chapter, regardless of what items you play with. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna push him back here. I'm seeing the Rek'Sai fighting here. This is a free Drake. Now it's a free Drake. Now it's a free Drake, really. Go, 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 go. And I need to stop here for a second to get this. Because if I show myself, they would instantly know I'm there. I also put, do, did two clicks towards the mid lane so that they might think I'm going back. As you can see that vision for like two seconds. Okay, so we got that. Also full mana from this ish. Full mana, well, half mana. Uh, and now we're going back mid. We're 2 0. We are pretty good here, and I'm not sure what this guy is doing. I'm gonna proc there the bone plating. Whenever you're fighting against bone plating, you can proc it with small Qs. So I'm gonna do two auto attacks here, a full Q. Okay, good, Costy on that. I'm gonna miss the ah, too late W, too late the W. Should predict it faster, but still pretty good farming under tower for this game. And we're doing decently in rest. Also, we have to keep an eye open for the fact that we don't have flash. So, whenever he wants, he could just E into me and instant taunt. So, we have to pay attention to that. We now can move ourselves towards the, towards here, but we're going to back up. This is a fake roam, but it's a real irrelevant fake roam because he's missing and he's probably going towards the top lane. And fake roams usually work when the enemy team uh, actually is onto the lane. But still, you can keep practicing this, you can still go and missing right this, you can deep, deep word, wherever, like, and this is not a deep word, this is a standard word. Okay, we're having a clad ult, maybe a Silas can on top as well, yep. And I'm going there. Galio is going there as well, so I don't have a choice. Okay. And we have Galio here as well. Okay, I'm chasing you, buddy. I'm chasing you. Ah, that's an awful spell. 
But yeah, I got him. That was a bad queue. I didn't like it at all. Okay, kinda have to do one more queue there. I leveled up, I have the Ludens, I have the Boots. I think I wanna go for Protobel before Boots. And also I'm quite happy that Atrox isn't bad and he went straight to mid, where he should have. But I'm backing off now because uh, Clit will come and even if I could go to get the Clit here it would have been risky. I can't help you man, I'm low HP. Maybe Atrox if he wants. So I'm going for Boots, I'm going for the starter pack towards Protobelt. And okay, that's that thing. There is a Galio teleport on bot lane, can't do much more than that to it. Okay, and apparently they got destroyed. Wait. Yeah, I could go there just to downplay it. Maybe save the situation a bit. Because they will still stay here. They will still stay here and I could just go behind them. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's for the Rek side. Okay, Rex, uh, it's good that Galio had time to recall, because that would have made things harder, way harder. And so we are happy now with the result. Can just go back and take some plates there. Maybe Silas will go mid and put uh, that, the Herald. But we did fine, we're currently doing pretty much fine. Yeah, that's a bad spell. I'm gonna get here, can I get a shield? No. That doesn't work like that, man. Could have just flashed. He flashed and ulted for absolutely no reason. Man, go away. Okay. Can we get some defenses on there? I'm just gonna recall. Yep, that's great. Even if Kled takes some place, this tower is in far more danger than the other. And we could now just go for the... Uh, this item into uh, Ruby Crystal. I'm gonna finish Protobel, then I'm going to finish Soxos, just because I want to have it, because they might surrender at 15 minutes, and yeah. Uh, okay, so Kled took two plates, it's okay, we still have the mid tower, we're closing in on the bot tower, but we got the first tower already, so it's fine. Okay. okay. going as well, we could get maybe some plates here on mid. I don't like Silas jungle at all because I feel he's very weak, especially if you don't do a lot early on. So he's 0-4, their mid lane is 1-4, we have a lot of plates, we basically won the game already and they also have proto belt after we get this plate. So phew, two more plates, we could, get, we could get maybe one more plate here. No, I don't think so. But we're fine. Atrox there pushing in, took some parts of the way, we could get for parts of this tower more, we have the protobel though. Let's get another tower, we're seeing that guy on bot. And I can just recall but not here because it would be dumb. Okay, good go bot. Atrox is teleporting in from behind. Uh, Silas is failing pretty much. Okay. That's nice. I think they will surrender before I finish Protobel. If they don't surrender at 15, it's actually funny. Because I destroyed them there. <laughs> Alright, so let's recall. I could even stay for Sorg Shoes now. But man, don't surrender now. Please don't. Another tower. A lot more gold. Yep, I have boots and that. I could get another wave here and then back off. I do have... A lot of bounty on my head, so I have to be careful. So I'm just gonna get this and run away. Like this. There is a Herald on me. They didn't surrender. So at least we can showcase that. 9 0 right here. 700 gold bounty. Pretty good Atrox on top. Pretty good jungler and jungle. Bot lane is decent. But uh, they probably didn't fight a lot, so that's why they don't shine. Ok, 
Okay, so we have these items. Now I'm going for orb because it's the immediate stuff that you need. Also, I don't need this potion anymore because I heal a lot from the Ravenous Hunter. If I go to the Jungle, I have 5 or 5 stacks. So I could just sell it and get 2 vision words so that we could go back to mid and put some words around here to start setting up these skills, setting up these surprise WQ combos. You are a bot that does only WQ combo, that's Talia for this meta. That's what we gotta do now, that's how we are staying relevant. This and not dying. This keeping in level and not dying. The three pillars of eternity. And I really like this combo. Did you see that Q into Protobelt? Wow. Look at the heal though. Look at the heal. I heal very fast from that, from the... Oh, I full HP. Two Qs, also... Uh, okay. This guy is fine, I guess. If there is a blue buff, I might want it. But there is not. So I could just put a word here, a vision word around, and start to clear it. And then move towards this. And BAM! <laughs> Instant flash! So they were fine. They were fine, but yeah. Another instant flash. Okay. I <laughs> got the invisible kill there. Uh, where is she? I didn't even proto belt. So at this point we could vision were deep so we can have the vision. He will jump on me. But he can't do that much. Well, I cast Q too fast. He's going in. Got the kill there. I could ult in, but I would see no point to risk giving my flash away, unless we get this, the inhibitor, they got the vision word, and I don't know if we have vision words, I used them both pretty decently, that one was maybe a waste, but we had the vision required. Now, we could close the gap with protobelt, but we would just aggro the tower, so we can just, we can just do that again and instantly kill the guy. <laughs> so that's how simple it is to play to Leah. Come on. This is a free kill. That's predicted. Flash out. Tank the whole damage from the guy. I flashed out because Lulu might have not looted me, but he did, so. Uh, this is inting. This is very much inting at this point. <laughs> but yeah, two rows. Two kills in a row onto the Senna, I'm quite happy about it because she's so tanky and I still got the kill. And now we could just recall with a lot of more gold on our plate. With a Drake and a Baron spawning soon, this is an impossible to lose game if I keep playing this focused. In terms of I don't give the shutdowns, I can't lose. Even if my team means I could probably one shot people to make it back. And so we have the stopwatch as well onto the 700 gold bounty. We are having the greatest level in the game. Actually, Atrox has, but for our team and enemy team, that's three level advantage onto the enemy mid laner. And Atrox split pushed a lot, that's why he has that advantage. And then he plays pretty well, but top laners will have the level advantage because of their splitting and because of lots of farming without any, without teammates around. So we're gonna go and get this Herald, we're gonna probably crash the base, and we could, we could crash mid. I could even ult in, stopwatch. Just let me get this. Do we rush it? Is there a point? I don't think there is a point. Okay, we got the Silas here. Alright. And I could just push it in. Because the Rex I can solve that problem. With the Drake. But I want to keep the Herald up till they come. And if I see some players onto that. Maybe I could Proto Belt in and do a W. Ah, that would have been a good idea. But I missed. I'm not using. As you can see, I'm not using Herald when it's not necessary. I could use it now though. Okay. Uh, low. 
location in. Now it's a good moment to use Herald because we know that he will hit inhibitor as well. So that's what we want. Okay, got the kill there. And now we can just push it in. Gonna miss the W. Okay, glad uh, getting caught again. Okay, not letting the Herald die. Okay, it's down, but it's fine. I think I'll do AFK too now, to be honest. Okay, and another kill. This is the game, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. I want, I want to try again. Something onto the gin. <laughs> no! <laughs> no, the tower. So that was the game with this combination. It it's kind of interesting to have the extra dash, can't really show the use cases because I have no reason to use it to escape, just maybe one time, but in terms of burst I think it's fine, in terms of tankiness I think it's fine, I'm not sure if the orb, most likely the orb provides more damage with the penetration or the rapidals, but as a cheap tanky item with an extra dash if you need to escape it might work in some cases, for Lissandra it works, for other, for other mages it works, I believe it's kind of okay, that was the game, and see you next time guys, goodbye.